What's up guys, it's Leviathan and we are back with another reaction today. Today we are starting something new, yo. I've been waiting for this anime for a while, ever since I saw the trailer and it was announced. We are watching Orient today. Man oh man. Uh, like, I, I have a history with this creator a little bit. Um, I really enjoyed his, uh, her series, sorry. It's a female. <laughs> I really enjoyed her series, um, Amagi, when it was on back in like 2011 and things like that. It was such a great series because um, one of the things that really always stood out to me with Amagi was like, how like vibrant the colors were and I always like enjoyed it and and like the whole Arabian night scene and things like that with like sac sacred treasures and all that stuff like honestly it was great like some I have some of the volumes right here and you can kind of tell just by like looking at the volumes over here how like color colorful they are <laughs> they're full of very like vibrant colors you see you can't even see that properly yeah like a lot of them are like really really good well, anyway, um, it's a great series. I remember it from 2011, I believe. But then it, it sucked because I remember it ending around its second season or something. So it never got picked up any further, which kind of made me kind of gravitate to the manga and then finish it off in the manga. And it was a great series all the way through. Really enjoyed reading it. But um, today we're starting Orient. And um, from what I could tell about this series, it's, it's um, kind of not similar to Magi. It's like, more more and more so to like demon slayer because i think they they fight demons or something like that but i know the the artwork and things like that and the colors and whatnot are still very vibrant so it's a it's very like connected with um shinobu otaka's work I believe that's the name yeah shinobu otaka <laughs> but yeah um that's what i know about the series so we're gonna get started with that and let's see how it really goes um don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out that Patreon link down below for full uncut reactions of this show and many, many more such as other TV shows, anime, movies, cartoons, bunch of other stuff. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. But without further ado, though, we're going to get started with episode one of Orient. I'm so excited. Let's go. Oh. Starting off real relaxed right now. Oh, nope, never mind. Portal from hell. Portal from hell, man. Some demons are coming through, disguised as angels. It's a portal from hell, man. <laughs> Kishin. Oh, I guess that's what the name of these demon things are. The Kishin. Bands of Bushi. Okay, those are the, I guess, the uh, the names of the slayers. What the hell? Are those guys worshipping the demons? <laughs> I guess some people worship them, man. <laughs> a scary man. <laughs> oh, this is a world where the Oni kind of just took over and like everybody worships them and stuff like that. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Oni masters? Big horn only masters. Oh, come here. This is a good question. This is a good question. He hates doing this stuff, man, and, and, and having to learn this stuff every day and work for these monsters, man. Oh, okay, we're getting a backstory already. It hasn't even been 10 minutes into the episode yet. I'm assuming this guy's name is Mosashi, I think. And then maybe the other guy here is Kojiro. 
Oh, who's this guy, man? He looks like a uh, OG that's like seen some shit, man. Especially with that scar on his face. But it sounds like a lot of these the, the these Bushi are like legendary uh, warriors or something. So I don't know if they exist anymore. It seems as though like they don't exist anymore. Oh, I guess maybe they revive like the Bushi. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, they they decide to like relive it, and and maybe something happens. I I'm I'm pretty sure maybe you get some kind of legendary power at the end of the episode. Oh my god, he's so scared to say it. I, I bet you they'll like instantly execute him on the spot if he mentions anything about Bushi or whatever. Cause like it sounds like maybe like it's taboo or, or some shit like that. They're like slaves, man. It's it's so it's so insane right now. Like their whole life is just working for these Oni. This is how you know this guy's the main character. His pickaxe just looks so much better than everybody else's plain old pickaxes. <laughs> いるんだろ。よ、今日も来たぜ。下は入山式だろ。こんなとこで油売ってたらいいのかよ。そう。それだよ。俺このままだと高山就職なんだよ。町を出よう。約束通り俺とお前で武士団作って。鬼退治するん
this man forget that he didn't have his weapon that they took his weapon from? <laughs> Masashi, my bro, you gotta you gotta do something. No, not the ordinary pickaxe. No, that's not gonna do shit, man. We already established it. Oh, I guess now he's actually gonna see that he actually really has been training like crazy for this man. <laughs> oh, why did they have to say that, man? They had to bring him back into his minor mundane reality, man. <laughs> ほんとのことを言ったら惹かれる。だからこれでいいんだって。俺が光栄から仲間外れになりたくねえから。そうやって周りに流されて。一番大切なことを夢が叶った気分は夢への夢は。別だ。Yeah, <笑><笑> Musashi. Yeah, yo tell them, bro. Tell them right on death door. That was a cool ass a motorcycle, man. Does it have crystals on the back? Yo! Yo, that's a sweet ride, man. Alright, let's, let's see what these two can do, man. I'm interested to see what, like, how the fighting styles are in the show, man. Yo, yo, that's that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Sword drawing technique, Ishin or whatever that was called. Yo, yo, he took out that K Kishin like nothing, man, or Oni or whatever they're called. <laughs> yo, he took that shit out like it was nothing. Yo, in one hit. Yo, Musashi's gonna do some great things, man. I can already see it. I can already see it. Look at it, man. Looking like a god right now, man. With the sun all shining and shit. Yo, it'd be, it'd be pretty interesting. Are there, like, other Bushis out there? Or is, there, is that a very, very, like, rare profession or something? Maybe. Yo. This is a very interesting series. It's not. It's a. It's a bro ship type of anime, where you're gonna have two main characters kind of um, put it in the work and, and shit like that. Oh, okay. That's what that's what I was trying to understand. So Kishin are like the masters, master onis, and like these things are the like regular onis or whatever or demons. That was a great first episode. Okay, okay, that was. That was Orient episode one, yo. I enjoyed every minute of that. That was great. Um, the plot really, really resonated with me, and I and I kind of liked those a little bit because it, it seems like okay. So from what I can gather about what their world is all about, so they were like these people were all in peace. You know, the human world was all good. They were living the, a lavish lifestyle, whatever. And then these Kishin things came from the sky and then started basically taking over shit and then basically forcing humans to do whatever the fuck they want. And then kind of polluting their minds and things like that, saying like, the Kishin are amazing, these Onis are amazing, you must worship them, things like that. You know, but in reality, like, they're, they're overlords or whatever. It seems as though, like, the, um, the time period was, like, feudal Japan or whatever. Like, time of, like, samurais and things like that. But it seems as though, like, um... 
it's like feudal Japan if these demons came and took over everything kind of thing. So that's cool. Um, I'm loving the main character. Musashi is a good main character. Um, he isn't very like upbeat or whatever. Um, he isn't very like confident right out the gate, right? And I like that a little bit. He wants to be a bushi, but for a long time he felt very like trapped in his minor lifestyle. Like he was scared to to kind of say that because he felt as though people were gonna kind of ostracize him and shit like that. You know, being a bushi is is apparently something that's a crime because um like it sounds as though like the bushi were the ones who originally fought the kishin in the past, right? And then the bushi kind of like died out or they like I don't know I don't know what happened we'll have to see more of the lore of what happened but apparently the bushi are gone anyway um oh, sorry <coughs> my throat felt like ugh, felt so like closed up there whatever <laughs> anyway so Musashi great main character like I said he was um very very limited and things like that so he had to kind of like um live his life kind of in the shadows while well, he also had Kojiro who is like his, his best friend but also the person he wants to become Bushi with who actually has like Bushi blood and he's a descendant of the Bushis and one of the coolest things that I was I was watching well not cool but interesting was how the the Onis kind of like ostracized Bushi in a way where it's like your swords your weapons are like your greatest um greatest allies or your biggest treasures but then you have to wear them as like a sign of shame because people aren't gonna like you being a Bushi right so it's like it, it it was really cool one of the things that would be your biggest your biggest ally or the thing that you would like cherish the most is actually the thing that's hurting you the most too that that, that was interesting and i liked how how they kind of did that there i know most people wouldn't understand the subtleties there maybe but um i kind of picked up on that a little bit um what else what else it was really cool seeing how musashi was kind of fighting there um the animation's okay it's not like the greatest like i i hope it kind of picks up a bit better with like the fight scenes and things like that it looked as though like they were using a lot of these like lighting techniques in the background kind of to like cover the areas and, and, and shit like that to like i guess maybe not animate as much i don't know it sounds like they're cutting corners for this show but i feel like i'll enjoy it more because it seems like a good plot driven anime that i'm gonna really really enjoy Enjoy. I'm really excited to see what what happens going forward and like the tip different people that we meet and things like that like I re I'm really interested to see how how many bushies are out there right because it seems as though it's not something that's very common like a lot of people aren't jumping up and saying hey let's fucking like jump up and rise up and kill the Oni right so it doesn't seem like that's what's going on here but um, it seems as though there are a couple of people who are probably kind of maybe doing it and some shit like we see in the opening there was like a couple of other people kind of doing their own thing so we'll see going forward the kind of adventures Kojo and Musashi get into that was a great ending for the first episode like I I'm on my heels like they're about to fight one of the uh, Kishin one of the greater Onis or whatever so I'm excited to see episode two. Oh, great first episode great introduction you did everything really well they introduced the characters really well it was a great great episode Anyway, I'm done for the video for this. I will see you guys around. Stay safe. Salavayathan out.